Crusaders, happy Valentine's Day, and welcome to the Red and Go Show. I'm Marcus Greyhouse. And I'm Alex Benson, bringing you the news from the 007 studio. Fourteen students participated in this year's Catholic Schools Week essay contest. The students received a certificate from Mrs. Murphy, and the winner received the grand prize of $150. Hello, I'm Mrs. Murphy, the Director of Marketing Communications here at Cecina. For about five or six years, I've sponsored this Catholic Schools Week essay contest that allows our students to express why they chose Cecina in Catholic schools or how Catholic schools have helped them. This year, 14 students wrote and entered their essays in the 2022 Catholic Schools Essay Contest. They are Isabella Adams, Cheyenne Carmichael, Andrew Cosmaker, Alexis Dolman, Ariana Edwards, Ailey, Ailey Gomez, Michelle Gutierrez, Nash Oakswald, Stephanie Rosco Jimenez, Sierra Lathrop, Carter Nolan, Quinn Schreiber, G Gavin Turner, and Teddy Wanker. So thank you all for, give yourselves a hand. For <laughs> I'm just always thankful these kids enter my little contest. Um, it's great to read them. The judges could tell every essay was heartfelt and I'm appreciative that these students wrote and entered their essays in this contest. One judge wrote to you all, these essays were so encouraging to read. And she asked if the essays can be displayed around the school to spread some positivity. And it's, all, it's so hard. It was really hard this year to choose one of you. I hate to have to choose one, but it makes you do your best when you have that prize to go for. So thank you all. You'll all receive a special gift. But I'm happy to announce that Ailey Gomez. So Amy went to St. Philip Mary, correct? And she gets the $150 prize. So the rest of you will be receiving your gifts. And Ailey, here you go. This is your cash prize and your certificate and another little gift. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats to all who participated. It's Valentine's Day and you know what that means. Stuco kicked off our yearly canned food drive in support of St. Vincent de Paul. Students and staff could pay money or donate canned goods to dress out. They could also send pre-made valentines. Valentines will be passed out during win period by Stuco members. The canned food drive ends March 4th. We'll have more details soon, so stay tuned. Five Crusaders competed in the Indiana State School Music Association District Solo and Ensemble Competition on Saturday. The quintet earned a gold rating with their performance of What Shall We Do With a Drunken Sailor by Robert Shaw. The members included Elijah Bakemeyer, John Paul Chambly, Jack Denny, Tanner McCormick, and Zach Milton. This group would not compete in the state competition on Saturday. Good luck, Crusaders. Now to Teddy for today's Crusaders clubs. Thanks, Marcus. The Archery Club competed in a tournament at Nativity on Saturday. Lucy Williamson led the team with a score of 251. Larissa Dowdy was second with a 248. Danny Romero and Jasmine O'Day tied for third with a 240. I was fifth on the team with a 239. The team will meet tomorrow after school in the cafeteria. The Creative Writing Club will also meet tomorrow after school in the library. Contact Ms. Wetzel with any questions. That's it for today's clubs. Back to Marcus and Alex for more news. Thanks, Teddy. Our celebration of Black History Month continues. Today's focus is on Nat King Cole, a famous singer, jazz pianist, and actor who was the first black American to host a TV show, The Nat King Cole Show. Here's a look at part of one of his shows. Ladies and gentlemen, the Nat King Cole Show. With tonight's special guests, Peggy Lee and Julius LaRosa. Yes, it's a good day. For singing a song, and it's a good day. For moving along, yes, it's a good day. How can anything go wrong? The Nat King Cole Show debuted on NBC on November 5, 1956. Despite Cole's fame and success, the show only gained one regional sponsor and was in trouble financially. Cole decided to end the program in December 1957. When discussing the show's lack of sponsorship, he said, Madison Avenue is afraid of the dark. Cole went on to record many more hit songs that sold millions. Now it's time to see what happened on this day in history. You know, 
Alex, I got a YouTube channel. You should subscribe. Awesome. I'll check it out. Anime God YT. Now let's head over to Emily for today's Crusader Sports. Thanks, Marcus. On Saturday, the boys' basketball team won a conference game at Monrovia. The team is now 8-9 and nine on the season. Tonight, the boys' freshman basketball team will compete in the city tournament game at 5.30. Good luck, Crusaders. That's it for today's sports. Back to Marcus and Alex for more news. Thanks, Emily. Now for our lunch menu for the next couple of days. Tomorrow we'll have meatball subs with corn. On Wednesday, it'll be spaghetti with meat sauce, broccoli, and garlic toast. Please remember that all menu items are subject to change based on availability. Now let's get some wisdom from the Bible with our verse of the day. Real love is always there and is found in God. We can feel and demonstrate this kind of love with God's help. Now to Hannah for a look at our weather forecast. Thanks, Alex. After a cold weekend, it's a bit better today with a high of 31 and partially sunny skies. The temperature will drop to 16 overnight. We'll see quite the warm-up the next couple of days with a peak high of 54 on Wednesday. On Thursday, we should expect to see rain and snow as we go through another dramatic shift back to colder weather. Now back to Marcus and Alex for more news. Now let's see who's celebrating a birthday. Happy birthday! Crusader Nation has spoken again. 113 Crusaders cast their vote, and 64.6% .6 said that Henry Carey moves on to the second round and Cecina's next big thing. It's time for the final four, when Henry Carey, Gabe Chambly, Paolo Esparza, and Trey Woods find out who will advance to the championship. Today, Gabe Chambly and Trey Woods go head-to-head -head in a Q&A session about their segments. Are you ready for Cecina's next big thing? Hey Crusaders, welcome back to round two. Trey, Gabe, this is the round where boys become men. We're going to start off with an easy question. It's going to be for both of you. Why should you be Cecina's next big thing? Gabe, you can start. Um, I want to be Cecina's next big thing because, I mean, who doesn't want to win prizes? And on my show, that's exactly what you'll, you'll be doing. You won't come home empty-handed. Boo! <laughs> Trey. I'm just here so I can get a good grade, man. Okay, Marshawn Lynch. All right, Gabe, this question's just for you, all right? Okay. What kinds of games are you thinking of playing for your prizes? Um, so it'll be games like, so you have the option between two things. One thing's a guaranteed prize, like a bag of candy or something. And then the other thing would be like a mystery prize. So it's like a mystery box so you can pick between one or the other. You'll be given hints of what's in the mystery box. And uh, it could be a really good prize, like, uh, Cecina merch or something like that, or it could be a bad prize like homework or old candy canes or stuff like that. Boo! Sounds like we got a big fan for Gabe in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Trey, what type of music are you thinking of listening to with time with Trey? I'm just here so I can get a good grade. <laughs> well, doesn't even have anything set up for a segment. All right, audience, do you have any questions for them? Mr. Adair, this isn't a question from Gabe. Boom! <laughs> Bro, I literally have an idea. Trey's literally just going to be sitting there for 15 minutes just sitting. And I actually have something. Boom! Who <laughs> yourself? You lost. Oh. I'm sitting here, you're not. <laughs> now, before this gets any more hostile, um, thank you for your time, and please make sure to vote in the link down below, and we'll see you next time. Me. There you go, Crusaders. Cast your vote using the link in the Canvas announcement. Voting ends tomorrow at 3 p.m. Our subscriber challenge continues, Crusaders. You can help us reach our next goal of 407 subscribers. Remember, if you subscribe to our channel, all you have to do is fill out the form in the 007 studio and place it in the box, and you can be selected in our next drawing. We will continue to draw a subscriber's name with every new 25 subscribers. That's it for today's news. Stay classy, give that little extra, and subscribe to our channel.